Hi, I'm Yusuf. After drilling operations, now we will make the finish of these formed uh, faces. As classical, we use contour area. We must use a ball mill. We define the faces, define the parameters, follow periphery, constants, dot tray millimeter and on parts and click generate we don't define the tool axis because it is a zm axis so we don't change the tool axis okay tool path is created uh, you can use it but there is a problem actually these green uh, moves are plunge moves it makes directly in Z axis uh, so you can see uh, the moves in the surface we can make another operation but first we must define a point here we must project it to the surface click ok and we must have a point on the center uh, of the surface and open streamline we choose the upper line a mouse wheel and choose the points helical constant dot tree tolerance specify cut direction and if I choose this it will start from the upper side of the a form surface and it will make a climb move click ok projection vector tool axis uh, I must change the projection vector to toward drive and click generate Okay, toolpath is created. Now you cannot see any green toolpaths because there is a step over. It makes a helical spiral move. Uh, so the uh, there is not any plunge move. But there is one other problem actually. If you choose the operation and click to the end point you can see these dots okay what do they mean you can see that uh, from one point to another there is a G1 move so uh, Actually, you don't have a very smooth surface. Uh, you will have a polygon on the surface. What's the uh, tolerance? Let's uh, measure it. Analysis, measure distance. Okay, from that point to... Another. It is 
nearly two millimeters. We must change it actually. Where will we change it from? Stock in tall out tall. We add one more zero and we switch to more and we change it to one dot one millimeter and I click generate. Toolpad is created. Uh, actually, toolpad creation time is very long, so I will uh, delete some of the video. I will crop it. Let's measure it again from here to this point. This uh, 0 0.3 the previous was nearly 2 millimeters you can see the change here okay uh, we machine the formed area as you can see we didn't choose the uh, choose any tool axis but if it is in for example plus ym axis we will choose the tool axis ym from here uh, and uh, i wish you understood the tolerance logic in the tool pads uh, especially in formed tool pads because uh, tolerance isn't important in uh, those type of uh, prismatic surfaces it's important in form surfaces so you must uh, change the uh, you must change this more maximum step and into out toll tolerances okay it's all for this video uh, we will uh, machine this uh, this chamfers in our next video thanks for watching if you have questions please ask on comments if you like the video please press the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe